Hi there, this is Mr. Holcomb here again with another episode of The Math Behind the Module. This is a special edition video, a special request to explain a homework problem. So we're going to do lesson 21, problem number six. Okay, so we have the Honeymoon Charter Fishing Boat Company only allows newlywed couples on their sunrise trips. Okay, so newlywed couples. There is a captain, a first mate, and a deck hand manning the boat on these trips. So that is three people. Three people in their staff. A says, write an expression that shows the number of people on the boat when there are sea couples booked for the trip. Okay, so there, an expression does not have an equation or an equal sign. So it, it is just going to be number of C couples. Okay, and so if I have one couple, how many people is that? There are two people in a couple. So if I put a two in front of there and I have one couple, that would be two times one, which is two people. If I have two people in a couple and I have two couples, so my C is two, two times two equals four. So if I have two couples, I have four and so on. So two times three couples would be six people three couples, six people, two couples, four people, and so on forever and ever. So an expression to represent couples would be two times the number of couples. Okay. So we want an expression that shows the number of people on the boat where there are C couples booked for the trip. So this is just taking care of the couples, but we have to remember that there are three people that work on the boat, the captain, the first mate, and the deck hand. So when I do that, I want to add those three in because there's three people on the boat that work plus the number of couples. So this is the expression for number of couples and the crew on this charter fishing boat. That's part A. B says, if the boat can hold a maximum of 20 people, how many couples can go on the boat? So a maximum of 20 people. So what I want to do is I want to take that expression of number of couples, two people per couple, plus the three deck hands, and that total cannot exceed 20. So it can equal 20, but it has to be less than or equal to 20. So I could make that an inequality as well. But it says if the boat can hold a maximum of 20 people, the maximum is when it's equal. So I won't use an inequality here. The maximum is when it's equal. So now I have 2C plus 3 equals 20. Well, in class, I mentioned PEMDAS is how we simplify equations or how we take care of an expression, combining like terms and so forth. So now I explained in class that we take PEMDAS and we do the inverse of PEMDAS, which is sad map, just write it backwards. And that is when we're taking and going across an equal sign and we will do inverse operations to get across an equal sign. So in this, e in this equation, I have multiplication and I have addition. So I have multiplication and I have addition. So I go in this order. There, are, there is no subtraction, there's addition. In order to take care of addition going across an equal sign, I do the inverse of the addition, which is subtraction. So I'm going to subtract three from both sides. So when I subtract three from here, I'm left with two C. Three minus three is zero. Two C plus zero is two C. 20 minus three equals 17. Now I'm going to deal with this M multiplication. So if I cross an equal sign, I need the inverse of multiplication, which is division. So I'm going to divide what I'm multiplying C by and what I do to one side, I have to do to both sides to keep the equation equal. So two divided by two is one and I get one C or simply C. 17 divided by two is 8.5. So how many couples can I have? Eight and a half couples, okay? Now, in the context of this real world situation, 8.5 does not make sense. A half a couple is an individual, and this charter company focuses on newlywed couples, so I need to, I can't put nine couples on there 
because that'd be 18 plus my three crew members puts me over 20. So I need to round down and say that the number of couples that can go on this boat is eight. So the answer to this question is eight couples. Okay, so that was explaining how to solve an equation with a variable using inverse operations. Hopefully this was helpful.